seconds to go. On the left in pole position, Jerry Marshall in the Vauxhall Forenza and next to him, and it's a legal match, Dave Brody in the Ford Escort Mexico with the 2.1 litre engine. And it's Marshall in the Vauxhall Forenza, Marshall from St Albans, who leads round Chester Strift for the first time in this 15 lap race. Now, both Jerry Marshall, who is in the lead, and Dave Brody, who's in second place in a colossal Shambles in the middle with two Team Dealer Vauxhall cars out of the running. Mike Crabtree, who substituted at the very last moment, is out of the race. And so for that matter is journalist, motoring journalist, Roger Bell. And it's going to be very dramatic indeed to see what happens now, because those two cars are spreading right across the track. There is a better path between them than looks on your picture are coming down now and going almost off the circuit one of the several minis in the race and Marshall leads into Chessons and the yellow flags are waving it's going to be interesting to see how the 10th century automobile club copes with this problem and there's Dave Brody Marshall's going to the right Brody to the left this is almost rally cross stuff and now Dave Brody is away in the lead. Jerry Marshall got badly pulled there and has been passed by David De Costa and Mike Chittenden and undoubtedly an absolutely furious Jerry Marshall who's lost the lead to Brody in the 2.1 litre Ford Escort. Dave Brody, number 44, a man who's already won 26 races this year, leads round the right-hander at Paddock Bend into the Canterbury Strait and Jerry Marshall is up into third place behind Mike Chittenden and ahead of David De Costa in the mini. Andrew Weldon is in fifth place in the mini and John Mert in the new Abingdon engine the mini is in sixth place. Now watch the battle between Jerry Marshall in third position in the Vauxhall Firenze and the Ford Anglia of Mike Chittenden who is just in front of him. Dave Brody leads and this is lap three. This. Brody, Marshall, Chittenden in Ford Escort Mexico, Vauxhall Firenze and Ford Anglia respectively. And that Ford Anglia of Mike Chittenden's in third position is a very, is a very non-standard motor car. 1600cc TC engine in it. Marshall closing right up now on Dave Brody with four laps completed in this 15 lap race. Jerry Marshall trying to go through on the inside of the hairpin. Now punching down to Paddock Bend and he'll have a job to get past Brody. Brody with a BDA engine in that Ford uh, Escort Mexico of his sees Jerry Marshall right behind him. They're lapping Tony Strawson in the 3.8 Anglia. That's a very famous car, the ex Coombs car. And Clowns of my tender and chest and stripped on lap six now, over one third distance completed. And these two, Dave Brody in the Ford Escort Mexico, Jerry Marshall and always in the Vauxhall Firenze, are pulling right away from the rest of the field. And again, Marshall tries to close up Perry Hill and take Brody on the outside of the hairpin. Fantastic bit of tight tail sliding by Marshall. It's typical. Jerry Marshall is one of the most ebullient drivers in saloon car racing today, and he's always hanging the tail of his car out over the line to complete six laps goes Dave Brody chased by Jerry Marshall Mike Chittenden is now about four seconds behind and that's chalk and they've touched Marshall gives Brody's Ford Escort Mexico a real thump in the boot as if to say move over but that's been going on all season these two have dented each other's cars more than somewhat and Marshall is really nudging Brody all the way around the circuit now up Perry Hill for the seventh time. Coming up to half distance, Brody won't move over and let Marshall by. Marshall's blood is up, you can see him grimacing through the side window. Now they're coming down to Paddock Bend, very, very tricky bend this. And just for the record, Mike Chittenden as Brody and Marshall flying around Paddock Bend into Canterbury Street. Mike Chittenden in third place is only 3.8 seconds behind them but a long, long way ahead of the fourth place man as Brody and Marshall continue bumping and boring around Lytton 
it's John March in the new engine the Mini in fourth position and now Marshall's going to take him Jerry Marshall is ahead of Dave Brody with a tremendously determined bit of driving and now that Marshall has gone ahead in the Bill Blindstein tune Vauxhall 2.5 litre Forenza he I think is going to pull away through Brody behind him is about to take Rally Cross export Tony Skelton from Canterbury in the Mini and he nudges him and Brody's off Brody number 44 has lost his line and dived down into the ditch and is now blasting his way out with wheel spin with smoke with tyre smoke coming off the Ford Escort Mexico and any chance he had of catching Jerry Marshall has been well and truly lost. This is lap 12. There is the Vauxhall Ferenza with big burly Jerry Marshall is going to have another win to add to the very many that he has scored this season. Into the hairpin, let the tail slide out, but Jerry will know that he's in a pretty safe position because he will have seen that uh, Dave Brody's well and truly out of the race, down the hill, into the right-hander at Paddington, on go his headlamps, and over the line goes Jerry Marshall from St Albans, who has won in the Vauxhall Firenze by just a fraction over two seconds from Mike Chittenden in the Ford Anglia with a lapped Andrew Weldon in third position.